Good morning, Farmington students. This is your AM News for Monday, October 29th. For lunch, we'll be having meatball sub or mozzarella sticks. Anime Club will be meeting tomorrow in Miss Murphy's room after school. The Google Classroom code is on the screen. East will be having a clothing drive now until November 4th. Drop off your clean pre-washed clothing at Miss Danhauer's room. If you have questions, see Madison Osnes or Camby Cambry Landwehr. If you are interested in the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Conference, sophomores will be having it next spring. If you are interested, applications are in the Counseling Center. They are due November 2nd. For more information, visit the website on the screen. Glee Club will meet today from 3 to 4 in the choir room. If you want to join, the Google Classroom code is on the screen. There are pictures needed for the yearbook. The site is up and running. Download at replayit.com. Upload your pics using the password cardinals, all lowercase. Wear your Halloween costume on Wednesday. You will have to pay a dollar. This will go to support the broadcast class. There will be a prize awarded to the best costume. ASVAB results are available on November 14th at 9 a.m. in the computer lab. If you took the test, please be there. Red Ribbon Week will be October 24th through the 31st. The theme is Life is a Journey. Travel drug-free and wear your wristband. Multiple drawings will be each day. You must be wearing your wristband to get a prize. International Club meets Wednesday after school in Miss Farfan's room. The Google Classroom is on the screen. We will be holding a fall play, The Christmas Carol. The show times are December 1st at 3 p.m. and December 2nd at 2 p.m. Costs will be $7 for adults and $5 for students. There will be GROW interviews for seniors. The date is November 15th. For more information, go to your English teachers, counselors, or Miss Disney. Today's quote, where there is love, there is life. Gandhi. Have a marvelous Monday, Farmington students. Good morning, Farmington High School. It is currently Thursday, and today we are talking about the harmful effects of vaping on a person's body. So what exactly is vaping? Vaping is comprised of inhaling smoke or aerosol from a vape, e-cigarette, or jewel. It is typically flavored and is a tobacco substitute intended to help those affected by tobacco addiction quit. What exactly makes it addictive? The nicotine found in vapes does, of course. Not only that, but one can control the amount of nicotine found in it. Jewels are especially a problem with nicotine count exceeding 50 milligrams, which my friends is truly a lot of nicotine, with a common cigarette clocking in at only 12 milligrams. This seems to be a problem, so why are more and more people, notably teens, vaping? The original purpose for vapes was to help smokers slowly quit smoking, but now it is used to boost the status and make teenagers seem cooler. I can understand why with all the new fangled tricks, but let me tell you, all of the glitters are not gold. Not only that, but more and more people do not think that smoking is bad. In fact, according to a recently completed, completely anonymous poll, 17% of FHS students have hit the vape or jewel within the last 30 days. So is vaping healthier than cigarettes? According to research, yes. Vape users do not breathe in the same harmful chemicals in vaping as in cigarettes. However, they still produce a multitude of problems unique to vaping, such as popcorn lungs. On top of this, vaping doesn't necessarily help you kick the problem. In fact, it may even lower your chances of quitting. There's a multitude of health risks. The most bizarre and well-documented, however, is that e-cigarettes literally explode, among others, such as Harder to, infect, harder to fight infections. Not only this, it may cause COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This makes airflow to your lungs blocked and makes it difficult to, difficult to breathe. And COPD is typically associated with bronchitis and emphysema. So the big question, what happens if you get caught? Well, my friends, police warn not to vape and drive because the clouds of vapor could obstruct your view on the roads and you could possibly lose your license. Not only that, but if Coach Harper catches you, you get your jewel taken away. And let me tell you, Coach Harper has so many jewels in his cabinet, he calls it a treasure chest. Thank you, Farmington, and live a vape-free life.